Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Avery and today I'm going to be talking about all of the ebooks that I hauled in November. <laughs> Yes, I did say that correctly. November. Uh, this video is very, very late. To be honest with you, I did not want to film it because there are so many books that I downloaded in November and I was not looking forward to filming this. <laughs> I want to do it. I want to get it out of the way, get it done. And I think y'all like my Eva calls. So hopefully this goes faster than I think it will. There are, I think, 20 books on this list. And this is gonna take a while. I'm sorry for the very long video. If you didn't know, I download a lot of ebooks every month. November was probably the month that I downloaded the most, maybe. I'm not sure. I have like an email service called uh, Freebub, Bookbub, um, that tells me when there are free romance books available on Amazon that day. So I got all of these for free, I'm pretty sure. So anyways, I'm gonna get started. The first book that I have is Graveyard Girl, A Mafia Bad Boy Romance by Bri Ann. This is the first book in the Blood Brothers series. This is on Kindle Unlimited or you could buy it for $2.99. I met the woman I love in a graveyard at 10.30 at night. She jammed a flaming cigar into my arm for littering her favorite place. The graveyard. I wrapped my hands around her tiny throat expecting a man, an actual threat. But no, it was a woman, a tiny woman at that, who spoke English, but cursed, hissed, and growled in Spanish. Not a threat at all, or so I thought. We're not sociopaths, but we desperately wish we were. There is a trigger warning at the bottom. It says, trigger warning, this is a dark romance. There's a violence, sexual content, and strong language. Be warned. The next book that I downloaded was Beneath This Mask by Megan March. Um, this is the first book, I believe, in her Beneath series, which... I actually read earlier this year. I listened to it through Libby. Right now it is currently free. On December 26th, this book is free still and it is included in Audible Escape if you have Audible Escape. I personally enjoyed this series. One, Not one of my favorite romance series, but I did enjoy my time. A former Navy fighter pilot, son of a congressman, a successful businessman in my own right. With a resume like mine, women have never been a challenge until I met her. The sexy, tatted up bad girl wasn't part of my plan, but that punch to my gut every time I see her tells me I have to know more. She's a mystery, an enigma, a challenge. I'm going to figure her out and then I'm going to make her mine we'll find out what she's hiding beneath this mask. Next, I have another Megan March book. We have Dirty Billionaire, the first book in the Dirty Billionaire trilogy. This book is currently free at the moment and it is also included in Audible Escape. I already read this book earlier in the year, um, but I saw it for free and downloaded it to add to my ebook collection. I've got a big ego and an even bigger bank account. That's pretty much where my bio ends. Honestly, I don't need to say anything else. I've just sold 99% of women on going home with me. Do I sound like a jerk to you? That's because I am. And guess what? It works for me just fine, or at least it did until I met her. Books talk about sparks flying. Screw that. With her, it was like emergency flares mixed with jet fuel, or maybe just straight up napalm. Only one problem, she wouldn't tell me her name or her number when she disappeared from the hotel room after the hottest night of my life. Now I've had a taste of the perfect woman and I need it again. So what's jerk to do? I took this problem to the streets. A missed connection gone viral, and when I find her, I'm keeping her. Next, I downloaded Of Ash and Angels by KC Decker. This is currently on Kindle Unlimited or you could purchase it for $1.99. Justin, I've never met a therapist I didn't want to murder where they sat. As a collective group, they all say there's no way around grief, only through it. But for me, grief has become who I am. The idea of shedding it is as ludicrous as stepping outside my own skin. The fact is some things can break you. I mean, shelter your soul and cast it into the wind in a billion tiny pieces to think you might one day be able to find all of those infinite pieces of yourself, patch everything back together, and move on with life. Well, I don't even need to dignify that with a response. Nora. A few months ago, I shaved off a 185 pound parasite. Then once I was rid of him, I wondered why I didn't just stick it out because the dating world is treacherous these days. Turns out, so is unemployment. I suppose to offset all the swiping left and Netflix binging in my life, I should take this job. There is a massive problem with the position though. The problem is Justin Abernathy. Of Ashes and Angels is an emotionally charged love story that weaves together an unforgettable tale of loss and surrender, 
with the business of love and second chances with the beauty of love and second chances it's a deeply moving illustrations of perseverance and the indomitable strength of a human spirit next i downloaded sparrow by emma nickel this is the first book in the on the skies series and it is on kindle unlimited but you could also purchase it for 2.99 it's been 14 years since grayson left clasping a sparrow pendant around Amelia's neck as a symbol of protection. It didn't work. Since then, she's moved across the country, buried her father, fallen in love with a dangerous man, lived in fear, and endured immeasurable pain. Even still, that golden sparrow never left her neck. It was her talisman, her anchor, her light. It gave her the strength to run. It gave her the courage to fight back. It gave her the power to demand a fresh start. It brought her back home, and unknowingly, back. To Grayson. Next we have Tiger Lily the Companion. This is the first book in the Tiger Lily trilogy by Amelia S. Duncan. This is currently free. Zero dollars on Kindle. Okay I'm gonna butcher this woman's last name okay. Lily Salome is a beautiful and driven associate, a rising star on the fast track to success. Then her boss gives her the most challenging assignment of her career, convince mega successful business mongol Jonas Crane to sign with their publishing company. Easier said than done. Jonas is rich, handsome, and he doesn't return phone calls. Forget about securing a meeting. He's just not interested. But when the billionaire's path crosses with the stunning and seductive Lily, his cold heart begins to melt. Instead of a business contract, he offers her far more personal counteroffer. Jonas is a man who gets what he wants, and he wants Lily to be his personal companion in New York City. No commitment, no attachment. It's a liaison Lily knows she should refuse. But the dark and handsome Jonas has a charm that's hard to resist. Lily swore that she could do whatever it takes to land Jonas as a client. But in a battle of business and seduction, can she beat him at his own delicious game? Next we have Vrex. Hopefully that's how you pronounce it. It is a science fiction adventure romance. And it is written by Elin Wynn. And this is the first book in the Conquered World series. It is also currently free on Kindle. Giant spiders, walking trees, bloodthirsty vines. For Geneva, it's just another day trying to survive in the jungles of Anaku. Until the sky ripped open and the true monsters came through. Now her world is under attack and the only place of safety may be at the side of a rock hard scaled alien. But he's filled with secrets. How can she trust him? Rex comes from nothing other than the destruction for the Xianthi hordes who burned his home and killed his family. But when a weapons test goes horribly wrong, the battle spills over into an uncharted world. The planet is filled with lethal native life, but nothing is more dangerous than the human woman who obsesses his thoughts. When the war rages around them, can they fight together or will his burning need for her drive them apart. Next, I downloaded The Vampire's Club, a male-male vampire romance. Um, this is book one in The Vampire's Club, and this is written by X Eriter. This is currently on Kindle Unlimited, or you could purchase it for $2.99. Find the wolf. What is that supposed to mean? Those are the words Lucas Daniels hears before stumbling through the brass doors of the elegant club Davil, a club that seems to appear out of nowhere, the club is his last hope of getting a job to escape his predatory stepfather's home. Who would dare enter a vampire sanctuary uninvited? Count Constantine the Wolf, Volk, may be awakened by a curse, but he is still a primal protector. And when he sees a young man venture into his club, bypassing all of his magical and physical protections, more than just his curiosity is aroused. Is there more to this meeting than a simple chance? It says, note, this novella series has cliffhangers. Every book will end with one. <laughs> it says, that is my natural writing style style. If you do not like cliffhangers, wait until the whole series is published to read. Thanks for the support. <laughs> Next we have The Perfect Gift. This is book one in the Three Wise Men series and it is written by Serenity Woods. This book is on Kindle Unlimited or you could purchase it for $2.99. As a single mom who can barely afford to put food on the table, let alone fill her son Ryan's Christmas stocking with presents, Erin isn't particularly looking forward to the festive season. When Ryan has an asthma attack and ends up in the hospital, she's convinced it's going to be the worst Christmas ever. Sure, Christmas is a time for miracles, but everyone knows wishes don't really come true. Consultant pediatrician Brock King lost his wife to cancer two years ago, and he's convinced the love he felt for her only comes around once in a lifetime. Then, while visiting the children's ward, he meets single mom Aaron, and suddenly his future doesn't seem so bleak. Once Ryan recovers, Brock offers to take Aaron away for her birthday, no strings attached, to give her the perfect gift 
every single mom would kill for, a night in an exclusive hotel. Will she take him up on his offer, which might, if she's very lucky, end up with hot sex with a billionaire? Or should she take the moral high ground and say no? The first in a series of magical contemporary holiday romances about three gorgeous billionaire brothers and three single moms brought together with Christmas magic. The next book that I have for you is James, A Billionaire Romance, the first book in Night of the Kings series. This is written by Shane Ford and it is currently on Kindle Unlimited or you could buy it for $2.99. Sheltered and innocent, Rain Morgan stumbles upon the three men who live like modern day kings and are nothing short of living legends in the beautiful settings of a wealthy town not far from Aspen, Colorado. Despite her idealistic beliefs about people in life, Rain finds herself irresistibly attracted to James Sexton, the handsome wealthy man who's built a reputation that precedes himself. Raised by a ruthless, emotionally unavailable father who teaches him how to make money and never trust women, James is feared by men and chased by women. A masterpiece of the business game. He has everybody in his pocket, from bankers to the mayor and the local political figures, running his business dealings and private affairs with an iron hand. Getting involved with a young innocent woman is not in his style, but stepping away from a dare isn't either. When Rain's ideals clash with James' corrupt, dark philosophy of life sparks fly and hearts get broken. Their love story may start out as a dare, but the war of love and hate that ensues between them alters more than their lives. Next we have Canteen Dreams, a World War II homefront romance, the first book in the Corn Husker Dreams series. This book is written by Kara C. Putman. You can buy this book for $2.99. I downloaded this book when it was free earlier in the month of November, and if you have Audible Escape, it is also on there. In the aftermath of Pearl Harbor, Nebraska school teacher Audrey Stone wants to support the war effort in any way she can. When her community starts a canteen at the train station, Audrey spends nearly every spare moment there, offering food and kindness to the soldiers passing through. She never expected to fall for a local boy or face the challenges of budding love in the face of war. Rancher Willard Johnston admires Audrey's passionate nature, but when his brother is killed in action, he feels he must avenge by enlisting himself. His father insists he stay, but Willard knows he must go. Reality intrudes, and he never expected the jealousy he experiences when he sees those in uniform. Can Willard's budding relationship with Audrey weather the storms of war, or will one of the other soldiers at the canteen steal her heart. The next book that I downloaded is Fighting Destiny, the first book in the Fae Chronicles, and this is written by Amelia Hutchings. This is currently free on Kindle. Have you ever heard of the old Celtic legends of the Fae? Beautiful, magical, deadly, and a love of messing with humans just for kicks and giggles? Welcome to my world. What started out as a strange assignment leads me to one of the most gruesome murder mysteries of our times, and my friends and I are set and determined to find out who is killing off fae and witches alike. Couple of problems in the way. I hate the fae and the prince of the dark fae is bound and determined that I work for him. He's a rude, overbearing, egotistical ass with a compulsive need to possess, dominate, and control me. Oh, and did I mention he is absolutely sex on a stick gorgeous and he makes me feel things that I never wanted to feel for a fae. Every time he touches me or looks at me with those golden eyes it seems to pull me further under his spell, despite my better judgment. My friends and I can't trust anyone and nothing is as it seems on the surface not even me. Next I have Her Desert Prince, the first book in the Desert Destiny series by Mary to Heart. When I downloaded this it was free at the time but right now it is $2.99 to purchase. Katherine Taylor, no stranger to Vice's school of hard knocks, at 18 leaves her dysfunctional family behind striking out on her own to embrace her passion of art. Years of hard work has given her a degree of acclaim. When offered the opportunity to work in the Middle Eastern country of Bashir to create the defining mural for the children's critical care ward, Catherine embraces the chance to meet her love of children and her love of art. What she doesn't think she's ready for is the blatant and insistent passion she feels the moment she meets the successful country's crown prince Malik. Malik al-Hakim has been raised with the sole purpose of someday becoming the king of Bashir. Years of careful preparation by his loving family has him ready to take the yoke from his father one day, but nothing could prepare him for the instant lust he feels the moment he sees Catherine, let alone never want to let an opportunity slip by 
Malik pursues Catherine, convincing her to explore their desire. But when political intrigue places Catherine in danger, Malik soon realizes lust has evolved to love and he'll do whatever it takes to keep the woman of his dreams safely by his side, no matter how hard she tries to fight their fate. Next we have Throne of Grace, book one in the Cliff Walk Courtships series written by Cecily K. Wolf. This book is currently free on Amazon. Arthur Davenport has it all, looks money, and a successful future planned by his parents. He knows that something is missing, but when he and Josie, his mother's maid, develop a friendship that can only be based on Christian values, he realizes that his love for her is the key to his happiness. Can he convince her that he could gladly give up his life of luxury for a life of service with her? Next we have He's Going Down, book one in One Wild Wish series written by Kelly Siskind. This book is $3.99 at the time I did purchase it for free. On Rachel's 27th birthday, she wishes to finally find a rewarding job. What she doesn't wish is to drink a boatload of wine, sleep with a tattooed bad boy, and drunk email her boss in one glorious career-ending move. Her only saving grace, she barely remembers that reckless night. Unfortunately, her luck has gone from bad to worse. Now she's competing against her infuriating one-night stand for her dream job, and he wants another taste. Fat chance, buddy. She will ignore Jimmy's shaggy black hair and five-day scruff because that man is going down, which is exactly what he offers with that dirty mouth of his. Next we have Love So Hot, the first book in the Lawson Brothers series written by Marquita Valentine. This book is currently free on Kindle. Bank teller and all-around good girl Sydney McKnight is tired of being the girl all the guys want to have as a friend. Who better to help unleash her inner vixen than her best friend and secret crush Brody Lawson? Only Sydney has no idea how to ask him without their friendship going up in flames. Until that is, the town of Jessamine's annual fireman auction gives her the perfect excuse to set her plan in motion. Fire Captain Brody Lawson has been in love with his best friend Sydney for years, but he would never risk their friendship by confessing his feelings for her. So when Sydney beats out the competition to buy his time at the annual fireman's auction, Brody can hardly believe his luck until she asks him to teach her how to seduce a fellow fireman. Now it's up to Brody to show Sydney how perfect she already is and convince her that the only man for her is him. Because if Sydney is going to seduce any man, it's going to be him and once he has her in his bed he's not letting go. Next I have A Billionaire for Christmas, a short story. This is in the Sweet and Swoonworthy Clean Billionaire Romances series written by Lori Baxter. This book is on Kindle Unlimited and it is also uh, currently free on Amazon. Ivy Steadman is not in love with her boss because first of all, technically speaking, she's an independent contractor so he's not her boss. And second of all, she's way too professional to fall for someone she works with. Someone it's her job to sell to the public. Someone who only thinks of her as a colleague or at best a friend. Only a fool would fall for their own marketing like that. Alec Ames is completely in love with his PR specialist. He's tried to keep it professional, but there's no denying the chemistry between him and Ivy. He thinks she might feel the same way. There's only one way to find out. His plan to sweep her off her feet at the big holiday party he's throwing for all of his employees. He's got the perfect night planned, from the lush and elegant Christmas decor to the string quartet ready with her favorite holiday song. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> Next we have A Reckless King, the first book in the Reckless Duet by Alexis Ann. This book is currently free on Amazon. One Night Limitless Pleasure. This is the promise I make to each woman who calls my number. With Esme, I expected nothing different. I returned to work the next day with a deep appreciation for her body, the sound of her moans, and a night of memories. Except she was different than anyone I'd ever met before. She was more, needier, sweeter, more honest, while also keeping everything personal hidden. Maybe it was the mystery that drew me into her. All I knew is that I craved another night. Next, I have Miss Kane's Christmas, a novella, a Christmas central romantic comedy. This is written by Caroline Michelson. This book is currently free on Amazon. With Christmas only three days away, Carol Klaus agrees to her father's request that she leave the North Pole on a mission to help save Christmas. Joining single father Ben Hansen and his children for the holidays seems an easy enough task until Santa informs her that Ben is the man behind the disturbing new book Beyond Bah Humbug. Why lying to your children about Santa Claus is a bad idea. Posing as Miss Kane, the children's new nanny, 
Carol puts out all the stops to show Ben how fun Christmas can be, all while struggling to understand how one man could hate the holiday so much. How could she, Santa's only daughter, be so attracted to a man who refuses to believe her father exists? And lastly, I have Resisting the Biker, an Alpha Motorcycle Club romance, book one in the Biker series, written by Cassie Alexandra. This book is on Kindle Unlimited, or you could purchase it for 99 cents. 21-year-old college student Adriana Nichols doesn't really know what to make of Raptor, the sexy biker who seems to be obsessed with getting into her pants. Hot or not, she knows from their first encounter that he's dangerous, both in and out of bed. What Raptor wants, Raptor gets. Right now, he wants Adriana and will do whatever it takes to claim her as his woman. But she keeps resisting, which isn't something that the road captain of the Gold of Vipers is accustomed to. Arrogant, cocky, and stubborn, Raptor takes on the challenge and in the meantime gets much more than what he bargained for. There you have it. Those were the many books that I downloaded in the month of November. Sorry for this very long video. Hopefully you got an ebook Count Unlimited recommendation out of this very long video. But anyways, thank y'all so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in the next one. Bye!